Hey there. One of the most valuable ways that people use smart things is to stay connected to those who matter most to them by getting notifications whenever different people, pets, or cars arrive at their home and leave their home. But today I'm going to show you a pro tip that lets you stay connected to those who matter most to you, not just when they come and go from your home, but when they arrive or leave any location. So whether or not you're the kind of person who likes to call back home and let a loved one know that you're leaving work or that you're 15 minutes away in a car and it's time to heat up dinner, you're going to love this use case because it allows for easy, effortless communication and allows you to save your minutes. So the way to do this is you're just going to set up a second location using your SmartThings account. Let me show you what I mean. So if you tap the menu icon on the dashboard and then you tap the gear, you'll be taken to your home location. So here I have a picture that represents my home and I've placed my home on a map. So here it is. It's a little fixer-upper that I'm working on. And so whenever I'm carrying my smartphone and I enter and leave this area around my home, different things happen, including notifying my wife that I'm home and that I've left. And so just as I can trigger notifications to people whenever I come and go from my home location, I can also trigger notifications to people whenever I come and go from any location, simply by setting up a second location. So the way to do this is you're going to go back to the menu, and instead of tapping on that gear icon, you're going to tap on the caret and then select New Location. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and give this location a name such as Leaving Work, because what I want SmartThings to do is to send a notification to my wife whenever I'm about 15 minutes away from work. I'll go ahead and select an image that represents Leaving Work. That coffee mug looks good. And then I'm going to tap that map to customize the location where I want SmartThings to send a notification to my wife. So after a few instructional screens, I'll tap Get Started, and I'm just going to scroll around and find a place that I pass through every day that's about 15 minutes away from my home. And so once I've found it, I'm going to tap and hold and a pin is going to drop. I can enlarge or reduce the size of this circle, but so long as it covers that road and I pass through it every day, it's going to send the notification to whoever I want, letting them know that I'm 15 minutes away from home. Once you've placed this area on a map, you'll see that the dashboard of this new second location in your SmartThings account has one thing connected. That thing is simply your smartphone acting as a presence sensor. So the only thing left to do now is to customize who you want to send the message to whenever you enter that area. So to do that, you're going to tap that big plus icon on the dashboard and you're going to be taken to Smart Setup. Because we want SmartThings to give someone a heads up whenever we enter that location, we're going to go to the category titled Alerts. Under alerts, you'll see that the first option is family coming and going, and so we're going to tap that category. And the first popular use case listed here is notify me when a family member arrives and departs home. While we don't necessarily want to send ourselves an alert whenever we enter in that area, we do want to send someone else one. So because the use case is very similar, we'll tap that, and I'll show you in a second how to customize it to only send other people a notification. Here where it says add a person, pet, or car, we want the thing that's going to trigger the notification to be my iPhone. So I'll go ahead and name this James's iPhone. I'll tap Done and then tap Next. And then it's going to say, how do you want SmartThings to know that James's iPhone is leaving work? So the way that we want to do that is by using my phone as a presence sensor. So I'll tap where it says James's iPhone. Then for it says for which events, I only want to send the notification when I, when I enter in that area, but not when I depart it. So I'm just going to tap Arrival. And here's the part where you can customize who to send the notification to. I don't want to send myself a notification whenever I enter the area, so I'm going to toggle off push notification, and I'm going to choose to send a text message to any number who might be interested in the fact that I'm 15 minutes away from home. So I'll go ahead and put in a fake number, but this can be any person in your family. And because I only want this to happen during the work week, I'm going to select only on certain days and select weekdays. And then when I'm done, I'm going to tap Next. It's going to show me some instructional screens. I'll tap Done, and it'll take you back to the SmartThings dashboard, and you'll now see that Home and Family is connected as well.